In this video, we'll be going over how to calculate your itemized deduction for casualty and theft losses. In order to itemize a tax deduction for casualty and theft losses, the loss must be attributable to a federally declared disaster. It also must be reported on IRS Form 4684. In order to calculate the deduction, you must first subtract $100 from the amount of the loss. If there are multiple losses, you must subtract $100 from each separate loss. And then the total amount of all losses for the year after the $100 limit uh, must be more than 10% of your adjusted gross income as determined on line 11 of your form 1040 or 1040 SR. This is also known as AGI. Do not report net qualified disaster losses from line 15 of your form 4684. Instead, you will report net qualified disaster losses on line 16 where there are no uh, limitations or floors to the casualty and theft loss. Also, you cannot include any losses for which you received reimbursement. There are additional uh, restrictions and there is additional guidance on reporting casualty and theft losses, which you can find in the form instructions for IRS Form 4684. That is all we have for this uh, video. If you want to understand more information about the entirety of Schedule A, you can check out our article, which is on our website. Simply to go to teachmepersonalfinance.com, type in IRS Schedule A, and you will see a comprehensive article that covers casualty and theft losses, as well as the rest of the itemized deductions you can find on Schedule A in much more depth. Uh, if you like our articles, please subscribe to our newsletter. And if you like our YouTube videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you can find links to other videos and forms that were mentioned in this video in our show notes. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section. Thank you very much and have a great day.